I think Reduce It is a phenomenal trial. It's a game changer because it's the trial for the first time that has shown that triglyceride reduction with an appropriate therapy, in this case pure EPA, icosopentone uh, acid uh, preparation, uh, when used in a adequate doses can make a significant difference. And this is very important because we have had mixed messages before. We have trials such as VITAL that was presented in the same session. We have the ASCEND trial that I was present in at the European Society of Cardiology and those are both negative. Part of that is because that's not a pure uh, omega-3 EPA. In addition to that, they did not use appropriate doses. So reduce it, use the appropriate doses, high uh, but two gram BID. I think it gives an important message. So we can do lots of trials, but if we don't use appropriate doses, we are not going to see the benefit. And that's one of the reasons some of the previous trials have been neutral or negative. And a reduce it really is a game changer because it shows for once when you use the pure EPA, icosopentine, that you can show the benefit on top of maximal tolerated statin therapy. And actually, if you look at the forest plot of the study, I must congratulate the investigator for uh, really looking at it. And across the board, you see the composite endpoint that showed 25% reduction. You also see a reduction in myocardial infarction by itself. You see a reduction in combined hard endpoints. You see a reduction in combined uh, endpoints that include revascularization. So across the board, everything is on the favorable side and very tight confidence interval. So this is a phenomenal study in my opinion. And finally establishing a triglyceride theory that we have been struggling with. We know it's a marker, particularly when you're dealing with high triglyceride, but we did not have any therapies because we have had negative trials with fibrates. We have had uh, uh, NIH sponsored a core trial. which did not select appropriate patients and all that. And then we have the ASCEND and the vi vital trials that use the fish oil, but all fish oils are not created alike. And this trial emphasizes that when you use pure icosapentin, then you are going to get the benefit and you have to use the appropriate doses. So it's not equating. One should not equate. That's a that's a very natural thing to jump to conclusion. Well, if one ha helps, then all the fish oil preparation should be helpful. That will be a mistake. We have been down the road with many other products, with the statins, with other drugs like ACE inhibitors, <coughs> calcium channel blockers, beta blockers. They, are, they have different effects in different kind of setups. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. So I think it's a pure <coughs> omega-3. It doesn't have the six component, which can increase HDL, which can also have other uh, sort of non-favorable effects. So I think that that makes the point that when you use the pure preparation, uh, that's going to be what we call pure omega-3 component, that's going to be more beneficial. As was said by a wise man long time ago, I think Voltaire said it, that all drugs are poisons unless used appropriately. So I think clearly you have to pay a price. So yes, whenever we use pure omega-3 the blood is less stickier, so there's going to be a higher risk of bleeding, particularly in those who may already be prone to some kind of bleeding. In addition to that, the risk of atrial fibrillation was interesting, and I really don't fully understand it. Maybe it's a coincidental finding, maybe because people were not dying of MI and other things, and uh, elderly cohort, they will naturally develop atrial fibrillation, and there was a selection bias, because more of them are living, and that could have been detected early on. It's hard to explain, but it's a real thing, yeah. Now the question is going to be the cost effectiveness and the compliance, because in the trial we can make patients comply with it, but if I have to say I have to take those four capsules a day, I would have little difficulty. So I think we need better preparation that can be uh, easy to uh, swallow, et cetera, and I'm sure there'll be some of, some products like this will be coming around the corner. But now that we have a drug class that works, now we have a trial that shows efficacy. I'm sure there'll be more things in development.